We all know VSPN claims to be the kingpin of sports coverage and the NBA. Well, it's the epitome of modern basketball, right? ESPN's legacy stretches back to its roots in 79, growing from a New England underdog to a powerhouse. But today, we're going to talk about a record they'd rather not brag about. Yeah, they talk the talk, but do they walk the walk? Hmm. Let's pivot to the modern day NBA. It's all about those three pointers, those flashy dunks, and let's not forget the occasional soft fouls that make you question if we're playing basketball or ballet. Back in the 80s and 90s, we witnessed a golden era of fierce rivalries and a true essence of the game. No fancy tech, no complex analytics. Pure, unadulterated basketball. Do you remember when John Sally from the Detroit Pistons said the NBA was nothing but Africans? Yeah, the league has evolved since then. Fast forward to 2023, and the numbers have shifted. The NBA has become more diverse, sure, but there's an irony that lingers in the air. The league that's still predominantly African-American is run by owners and a commissioner who don't exactly match the player majority. But now, let's turn our attention to a familiar face from ESPN. Who's been stirring the pot? Malika Andrews, a black woman covering the NBA. But hold on, there's a twist. Miss Andrews seems to have a unique perspective when it comes to African-American men and has been getting quite the attention. Let's talk about the moments that made us all wonder. Interrupting former NBA players, check. Trying to give Stephen A. Smith a run for his money on his show, check. And how about those not so subtle digs at potential Celtics coaching choices? Yeah, that happened too. But it's time to unlock the story behind the headlines. We're peeling back the layers, digging deep into the controversies and uncovering the motives. Is Malika Andrews truly a puppet in ESPN's game? Or is there something deeper at play? But before we get to all that, you know the drill, fam. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and slam the notification bell so you never miss out on our mind-blowing NBA content. And now, let's get this show on the road. Now, rewind a bit. Back to 2020, when the sports world was rocked by the Rachel Nichols saga. A hotel room bugged, whispers behind closed doors. And a 20-year journalism career that went up in flames faster than a fast break. Nichols found herself in hot water after making comments about Maria Taylor that set off a media storm. The fire was fueled when it was suggested that Taylor's role was tied to her race. Nichols found herself benched and out of the game and in steps. You guessed it right, Malika Andrews. And that's where our story begins. Malika, the new kid on the NBA block, rose from the ashes of the Nichols debacle to take center stage. But here's the kicker. Since then, she's been caught in a few jams of her own, particularly when it comes to her interactions with black men. Accusations of unprofessionalism, whispers of animosity, you name it. It's been swelling around like a spin move on the court. Now, I'm all for healthy debates, but when it starts looking more like a personal grudge match, that's a whole new ball game. Malika Andrews has been a lightning rod for criticism in recent years. It's not just about the game anymore. It's about the personalities and the stories behind the scenes. First off, let's dial it back to 2019. Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak himself, wasn't mincing words when it came to his feelings about Andrews. A piece she had pinned had him fired up, speculating that he might ditch the Milwaukee Bucks if changes weren't made to the team. And oh boy, did Giannis respond. After being asked a question by Malika, he didn't just ignore her, he got up and walked out, leaving his teammate Chris Middleton in a state of confusion. Guys, it was like a no-look pass, unexpected and swift. Some might say Giannis was guarding his territory, while others argue it was a full-court press reaction. You decide. And the tale of 2022 brings us a clash for the ages. Malika Andrews versus Stephen A. Smith. Early 2022 saw Malika in a head-to-head -head with the undisputed analyst king, Stephen A. Smith. The Celtics team Udoka saga had Smith and Andrews at odds. They squared off over how things were handled. Smith, the outspoken analyst, invited Andrews to be on his show, but it didn't exactly go as planned. Now, Andrews was standing her ground, pushing her point across like a power forward in the paint. But did she cross the line? Some might say she was giving Adoka an extra jab, a little verbal slam dunk. But let's be real, folks. When it comes to Andrews, she's known for keeping her rhythm, even if it means marching to a different beat. Now, let's fast forward shoom, to a much anticipated night in NBA land, the 2023 draft. Ah, the joy, the excitement, as young players hear their names called, sealing their fate in the big league. One of those rising stars was Alabama's Brandon Miller who got denied from none other than the outgoing Charlotte Hornets owner, Michael Jordan. Miller's got skills for days, and comparisons to Paul George? Yeah, that's some elite company, a six foot nine, two-way wing. But it's not all sunshine and slam dunks. Miller's journey had its share of bumps, 
And we're not talking about crossovers. He was wrapped up in a murder case in January with no charges, but a controversy that raised eyebrows. You know the drill. Teams digging deep, doing their homework, because the NBA is no playground. It's a battlefield. But here's where things get interesting. ESPN's very own Malika Andrews stirred the pot by bringing up that case with the draft panelists. And let me tell you, NBA fans weren't exactly thrilled with the move. Now, is Malika doing this off the cuff? Or is there something more scripted going on behind the scenes? If it's the former, it raises some serious red flags about her intentions. And if it's the latter, well, we're venturing into even murkier waters. Is there a deeper issue within the organization? A culture that's okay with tainting the image of black men during times of vulnerability? No matter which way you look at it, one thing's for sure. Malika's the one in the spotlight. Now, that's been Andrew's M.O. since she joined NBA on ESPN. And this isn't the first time she's been called out for her actions. In April, Kwame Brown, who was once drafted first overall by the Washington Wizards, accused Andrews of plotting against Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose and Malika Andrews had had a moment that set tongues wagging, a side hug that turned into an armpit debacle. Yeah, you couldn't make this stuff up if you tried. But here's the twist. Andrews didn't hold back, exclaiming, Get your finger out of my armpit. Hold on a sec. Rewind. His finger was where? The plot thickens. And the internet went wild with speculations, theories, and even a video response from Rose himself. Rose cleared the air, breaking down the armpit equation with precision. Four fingers, one thumb, all on the shoulder. And just like that, the storm seemed to settle on the ESPN set, leaving us all wondering if it was all a playful dance in the end. But wait, in a podcast interview, Brown didn't hold back, accusing Andrews of trying to set up Rose for some kind of trouble. Brown said, That type of woman that Malika Andrews is, she's a representation of the type of woman in the world, in my opinion. You want to have an opinion on everything. You want to talk about everything, but then want to tip the scale to where this feminist bull ruling? Jalen Rose did not put his hand in your armpit, ma'am. How come you always attacking black men and always trying to make sure black men are in line? Who's paying you to do that, ma'am? Now, all of this must come from somewhere. You can't just discriminate on something from nothing. Let's dive into Malika's early life. Malika's early life. Malika Andrews was born in Oakland, California in January of 1995. She came into this world as a daughter of a personal trainer and an art teacher. She walked the path of academics with finesse, stepping into the corridors of a private prep school, the Head Royce School. And let me tell you, her academic prowess was perfect. But, you know, life behind closed doors can be a bit different game altogether. Amid her success, Malika's early years weren't without challenges. She opened up about her middle school days, a time of anger, depression, anxiety, and a battle against eating disorders. Imagine, at just 14, she was in survival mode, seeking professional help, and even enrolling in a therapeutic boarding school in Utah. Now, you might be wondering, what's a therapeutic boarding school? It's a place that helps students with emotional and behavior struggles by creating a caring environment. Through those tough times, Malika emerged stronger, graduating high school in 2012. Malika's resilience and determination continued to shine through. She embarked on a journey of higher education, landing at the University of Portland. And guess what? She didn't just hit the books, she hit the journalism scene. While she was at the university, she demonstrated her passion for sports journalism. She worked as a sports writer, editor, and even editor-in-chief. Now, that's what I call a triple-double of commitment, dedication, and talent. And then came a pivotal moment. The 2017 Summer League, where Malika introduced herself to Adrian Wojnarowski. Little did she know that their paths would cross again at ESPN, solidifying her place in the sports media game. But the journey doesn't stop at college graduation. Malika started her career with internships, using her academic achievements and diverse portfolio. She was destined for greatness, and her hard work was just the tip of the iceberg. And she finally found herself with ESPN, later replacing Rachel Nichols. Let's be clear. Tough upbringing or not, it doesn't excuse actions that have left a sour taste in the mouths of colleagues, players, and fans alike. Here's where things get serious. The clear discrimination and the targeting of black men are simply unjust, plain and simple. But what's even more mind-boggling is the big question. Why is the company turning a blind eye to it? ESPN's recent list of firings dropped like a bombshell, leaving fans stunned. And guess what? Malika Andrews wasn't on it. It's like a shot that should have been called, but the refs missed it. Her insensitive actions and her divisive words, they're not flying under the radar. We see it, and we're calling it out. While some of us might see through the smokescreen to the ESPN brass and the wider sports media world, she might just be seen as untouchable, maybe even protected. It's a tough pill to swallow, but that's the reality we're facing. 
But the truth is that there is no sign of this rising tide of Malika Andrews in sports media slowing down. She's become a formidable force, a voice that's both loved and protected. And that leaves us with one burning question. Will the NBA community ever get the clarity it deserves? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more NBA content. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep the ball bouncing and the dreams alive. And remember, it's not just about the game. It's about the principles that shape it. Chill.